Well, it's miles all around here at the INEC in Killarney. Over two ceremonies, 950 people representing 92 different nationalities are becoming new Irish citizens. Now, there has been a number of online e-citizenship ceremonies over the last two years, but this is the first in-person ceremony since the outbreak of the pandemic. Uh, during the first ceremony, the new citizens were told that they now have the right to vote, they can attain the highest office in the land, and there was also a call out for any talented soccer players to maybe consider uh, joining the Irish national team. Uh, but I've been speaking to some of Ireland's new citizens to find out how important this day is for them. Um, I really objected to the British, the UK decision to be to leave Europe and I really it was important to me that um, to be a European. Wow it's one of the best days of my life I'm very very happy to to become a major citizen I'm so proud and um, I'm so grateful uh, to to have this opportunity to become an Irish citizen. It will help a lot because I can work here in any kind of job if I want to open a business, I can open as well. And I feel more security after having the Irish citizenship. Uh, I'm here nine years and the real feeling is to go inside, to experience that things and make you proud and loyal to state that how important you are for the nation. So a very important milestone in the lives of today's new Irish citizens. The Minister for Justice, Helen McEntee, and two retired judges are presiding over today's ceremonies. Since these ceremonies were introduced in 2011, 148,000 people have been granted Irish citizenship.